Here's how to add voice shortcuts to your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you wanted to use your voice or vocal shortcuts to enable certain actions on your iPhone, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's open up your settings here, and you need iOS 18 or later. So tap on General and software update. You need to make sure that you have iOS 18 or later here. You can see the current build is iOS 18.1. Now, after you've done that, you can go all the way back here and we'll tap on accessibility. Now, after we're in here, you'll be able to see if I scroll down, under speech is vocal shortcuts. Tap on that. And you can see actions here. I already have an action for a voice shortcut to take a screenshot. Essentially, whenever I say take a screenshot, it takes a screenshot. Now, all you're going to do is make sure to hit add action here and hit continue. Now, you can do a bunch of different things. Siri requests, battery stats. You can have the action button, turn on the camera or the flashlight, rotate your screen, mute screenshot as I did before, and you have a bunch of different options here. So let's say on here, I want to, let's say mute my phone. Now I'm gonna tap on mute here, and I'm gonna say mute my phone, and hit go. Mute my phone. Mute my phone. Mute my phone. Just like that, I have added that action on there. You need to make sure at the very top, it says vocal shortcuts, you need to have that turned on. And now essentially you can basically use this to do a number of different tasks, like take a screenshot. And sometimes it doesn't work. Mute my phone. And you can see, oh, there it took a screenshot. So it's a bit delayed. You can see it just came out in iOS 18. So it's a bit slow to be able to do all of these, but it did eventually take a screenshot and recognize that I said to take a screenshot. But hopefully over time, it'll get a bit ba better and faster at listening to these different things and do it a bit faster. But you can see, take a screenshot, it took a screenshot, and I can swipe down here and my phone is muted. So it did do both of those different things. And essentially it's a cool way without having to touch your phone or to tap on various settings to control your phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.